Hi guys, Steve Blanker here again. Hey, I'm out at the range and I've got another one of my Remington number two sporting rifles out here. Uh, if you follow the trend, you'll kind of see I have a, a, a thing for number two rifles. Uh, you know, one of the most, the, I should say, the most common chambering for these number two sporting rifles was 32 rimfire. But, you know, that's kind of a misnomer and I want to explain a little something here. Well, Remington's, Remington was very lame about their markings uh, for their chambers in these early days. And these number two rivals are simply stamped 32 on the bottom of the barrel in front of the forend. But you know, so are the number four rivals. Little, the little uh, number four boys rivals are just stamped number, uh, just stamped 32 also. But they're chambered for two different cartridges. And I mentioned this in a video back last fall uh, that I did, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit more. Um, you know, I've been studying number two rivals for quite a while, and I've examined a lot of them. And every single one that I've examined that's stamped 32 is actually chambered for the 32 extra long cartridge, whereas the number four boys rifles are chambered for the 32 rimfire, which is just a shorter version of it. So just about everything you read online and videos and, and books you see, they just say that it's chambered for 32 rimfire. Well, it'll shoot the 32 rimfire cartridge, but these th number two sporting rifles are chambered for the 32 extra long cartridge and you have to measure the chamber to see that but i'm very confident that every one that was made which is it's marked 32 as a rimfire has that extra long chamber and i've got a pretty good collection of these rifles going back from the very earliest days to the very last ones and they're all the same so if you have a number two rifle and it's marked 32 you can shoot the 32 rimfire in it, but it will take the extra long cartridge, which is very similar ballistically to the 3220. It's a bit more powerful and it's a very accurate cartridge. So I'm out here today. Um, this is a rifle that I just acquired recently. It's a 32 rimfire. It's an early one that's not drilled and tapped for a tang sight. Uh, so I don't have one on it, which means my aging eyes have a real trouble uh, seeing that front sight. But uh, we're gonna do a little shooting with it today. Um, but I just had this one, got this one recently. It's got a pretty nice bore, so it's a good, I think it's a good shooting rifle. Uh, I've shot it just a little bit so far. Um, the cartridges I have, I make myself. They're uh, 32 extra long, and they're rimfire, reloadable rimfire cases. And I make these from uh, 327 Federal Magnum Brass. And if you look at my YouTube channel, you can see uh, I've got some videos on how I do that. Um, they can also be made from 2520 single shot brass, but that's pretty scarce and hard to come by brass as it is. And I have made a, a fair bit from that, but now I use a 327 Federal Magnum brass, which is easier to get, although it's more work to convert. But once they're done, they, they work really, really well. So let me bring you in. I just wanted to show you these cartridges uh, up close. And uh, hopefully you can see this here. There we go. So here is a 32 extra long. Um, it's about uh, a little over an inch long compared to um, the 32 rimfire, which is about, well, depending on whether it's a heel bullet or an inside uh, hollow base bullet, uh, about three quarters of an inch get long, give or take a little bit. So it holds a bit more powder. Now these, I use an acorn blank for the rimfire primer, and I've got these loaded with 9.5 grains of Reloader 7 uh, smokeless powder, which is uh, a very close equivalent of the original black powder cartridge. So uh, they're, they're a nice shooting cartridge. Um, I've had some really, really good accuracy. I've got another number two rifle that's been converted to centerfire. So I use the centerfire version of this cartridge and it's proved to be extremely accurate out, you know, out to 100 yards. So this is, uh, actually this is the first time I've had this rifle out, which is like I say, I just recently acquired this one. Um, so we're gonna do a little shooting with it. So let me put the camera up here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here so these cartridges I make myself um, occasionally I get a misfire on one if I don't have have the, uh, the the recess for the primer machine just right so I kind of weed them out as I go but hopefully these will all shoot pretty good so let's see here I've got a target set up at about 35 yards here it's kind of a windy day so I'm hoping this target stand won't blow over it's already blown over once on me but uh, let's take a few shots. Shoots really nice. These extract really nicely. And they're really, 
once you make the cases, they're just as easy to reload as a centerfire round. Now, the firing pin hits at the six o'clock position on these cartridges, and I have to orient the case, so the recess, there's, there's a milled recess behind uh, at the six o'clock position on the case, so I need to make sure that corresponds to the firing pin. All right. Now, these are healed bullets. They are 87 grain. Uh, healed bullets, and they're about uh, three three hundred fourteen thousandths diameter. Uh, let's do one more here. That's five shots with the 32 extra long rim fire. So let's, uh, let me uh, take you down to the target button. Let's see if we hit anything. Okay, guys, I'm down here at the target and I got the sun right on, so it's hard to see, but uh, hopefully you can see the target here. Um, so there's five shots right there. Uh, pretty good, you know, with uh, just the barrel sights. Uh, again, it's kind of hard for my old eyes to see this, but uh, but it shoots pretty well. This is only the first, maybe second time I've taken this out. I can't remember for sure now. But uh, it's a nice little rifle. It shoots really sweet. 32, the 32s are just a sweet, fun rifle to shoot. Whether it's the, the, the standard length, the, you know, the 32 rimfire. Uh, the centerfire version is 32 Colt, which, uh, you know, a lot of guys will center, do a centerfire conversion on these rolling blocks. And I've done that on some of mine as well. Uh, and the extra long, whether it's centerfire or rimfire, they both shoot equally well. So... You know, there's a lot of these old 32 rimfire rifles out there. You see them on, at gun shops and on uh, tables at gun shows. And most people look at them, put them back down, kind of walk away and say, what would I do with that? Well, you know, it takes a little bit of work, but it's really not all that hard to get them shooting. And, uh, boy, they're a lot of fun. They really are. So, uh, you know, if you're at a show and you see a nice-looking rifle and it's chambered for 32 rimfire, you know, give it a second thought. You might be surprised what a, what a great rifle, a lot of fun you can have with it. So, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed this and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming out soon. Take care.